friends and welcome to Science with Arv. So today we're going to try another easy experiment. This experiment we need a bowl and a few one liter bottles. Can you tell me how fast you can empty a one liter bottle? And I'm going to use a stopwatch to measure the time taken. I'm going to put my hand over the bottle and I turn it upside down and I go. It's taking some time. And see, this is about like 15 seconds. See, it took that much time. So if you haven't clicked the subscribe button, you can click the subscribe button now and you'll get the notifications when I upload my other videos. This time, we're going to try again using a different method. We're going to give a spin to the bottle and let the water flow. And I'm actually going to use my stopwatch here to measure the time it takes. Almost ready. Oh, look at how that vortex is forming. It only took five seconds. If you remember, the first time it took 15 seconds, and the second time when we spun it, it only took five seconds. Like, imagine this. Pretend there is a corridor of one man's width. Two people can't pass in it at the same time. So one person will have to wait at the end of the corridor while the other person passes. It's the same with air and water. So you see, this bottle has a very narrow opening. And when you turn it upside down, the water goes down and the air go up. And they go at the same time. The air goes up, you can see bubbles forming in the water. So that's why it slows down the process. You spin the bottle around like this, water is pushed to the side. And then the air has a path to go through in the middle. Remember that vortex? Spinning water leaves a path up the center for the air to enter. Then the bottle empties quicker because the water goes down the side and the air goes up the middle. Even though the pad is longer. Now let's do the fun stuff. Let's make a tornado in a bottle. For this experiment, you need two bottles and a tornado tube. This is a tornado tube. See, there's a connector for both sides to connect bottles. And there's also a hole in the middle. You can also get this from Amazon. And you can ask your parents, like your mom or dad, if they can get it. But don't worry if you don't get it. Because you can still do it without it. I'll show you how. Just put the bottles together and maybe use some duct tape. So don't worry if you don't get it. Connect the tornado tube to one bottle. And then connect it to the other and you're all ready. Flip the bottle upside down. Usually the water flows to the other bottle, but now it's not. Do you know why that is? The answer is the bottle is full of air. So that means the bottle is not empty. Did you know there's a way to make all the water in the top bottle flow to the bottom bottle? There's two ways. First of all, you can press the bottom bottle and the water in the top bottle flows to the bottom bottle. That's because when you press the bottom bottle, the air goes up and the water in the top bottle goes down. But that's going to take a long time. So here's a fast rate. Hold your hand on the tornado tube and the other one on the top of the bottle and give it a little spin. See that vortex is forming? It leaves a path for the air to go up the middle and that's why it's emptying so quickly. We know this bottle is full of air. So let's see how air can move. So we can do that with the help of some dish soap. All we have to do is add the dish soap to this bottle of water. So as you see now, the top bottle is full of bubbles and the bottom bottle is full of water. So now when we turn the bottom bottle around and spin it, we can see how the air moves. So we can turn around here and... Oh, did you see that vortex? All the 
water is going to the bottom bottle. Mix the water with some food coloring and I'm going to do the tornado to see how it comes out. You see that tornado? You see that tornado and all the purple is going that way? Since the color is mixed with the water, we can't define the vortex clearly. We tried coloring the air with the bubbles and it worked. Now we're gonna now I tried coloring the water with food coloring and paint, but it didn't work. It just mixed with the water. I tried cooking oil, but that also got mixed with water and we tried to spin it. So now we're using lamp oil to define the vortex. I am going to use blue lamp oil and you can get it in different colors and now I'm going to pour it into the bottle. Pour the oil into the bottle. Now I'm going to use the connector and connect the two bottles. I'm going to turn the bottle upside down and spin it. Here we go! See that vortex is forming? We've tried all of these different tornado tubes. We've tried the water, which is the original one. We've tried the bubble one to color the air and we've tried the oil work to define the vortex. And I'm gonna spin the three of them together.